Well, hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel now as i already seen by the title today's video is going to be on the power of silence now i already opened up the series when i made things you should keep private in your life you know to be a better woman to be a high value woman all that good stuff and i told you guys in that video that i'm going to be making several videos on this topic so the power of silence and if you've not seen that video i'm going to link it in the description box below now today i'm going to be giving you seven situations where you should keep quiet seven situations that requires your silence so let's just get right into the video okay the first situation that I feel requires your silence is if you cannot say what you're about to say without screaming which is the reason why I feel like I'm the best person to talk about this is because I struggled oh my god and I still struggle but in a very subtle way now with keeping my cool especially when I'm angry especially when I feel like I need to get my point across especially when you know someone pisses me off I struggled emotionally I struggled so hard to control my emotions I'm still struggling in you know some little areas here and there to put myself together as a human being as Lucy quite frankly but I feel like I've done a lot of work on myself from <laughs> where I'm coming from till now that I'm just like oh my god I need to share because a lot of us face this on a daily and we some of us don't even know that it's a problem actually some of us don't know that we're doing too much and we're actually giving energy into things that does not necessarily need energy from us and especially when you're working on emotions you're just going to be on go 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 you know when you're going through a situation or when you have an argument disagreement with someone it could be literally anyone okay it could be your friend it could be your family member it could be your partner it could just be anyone right and you have this feeling that anything that would come out of your mouth will be fire and brimstone it'll just be fire it'll be hot 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 right we always get that feeling especially when we know and one thing about emotions is you can definitely control it we all have the ability to control our, our emotions but the thing is when you're in that situation it's very difficult to balance it out it's very difficult to call yourself back it's very difficult to just you know put yourself on that level head to just breathe so when you're trying to pass a message to someone but your voice is loud you're screaming you're just screaming you're not hearing yourself and the person that you're actually talking to they can't hear you either your screaming is actually getting them riled up so in return if they are not mature enough if they don't know how to control their emotions they definitely will scream back communication isn't happening it is not flowing when you're screaming they are screaming it's like there is this block in the middle you're both not going to be hearing yourself and this is something that people need to understand most of the disagreements that goes left and even goes further than it should actually go is because at that very moment both of you both parties involved in that situation you both do not know how to control your emotions i have said this before it is okay as human beings to not have it all together it's okay to not be as macho in every situation it's okay to let your emotions run you once in a while but to be honest my love every single time you get into a situation that wants to put you out of character sis calm down relax the best thing you can do in that situation is just try to explain your point calmly and i know it is so annoying or it can be annoying when you're trying to talk to someone like the moment is already bad you're still trying to like calm yourself down and have a conversation and the other person is not even listening like I understand how that must be because honestly I've been in situations where I'm just like I want to rip the person apart emotional control is understanding that both emotions are high right now so you know what screaming is not going to get it anyway screaming will not get them to listen to me so there's no point second situation where I feel like you should be silent is if whatever that comes out of your mouth might damage your friendship or your relationship now I personally no matter how angry I get no matter how heated I get I've always had this thing where I could control the words that come out of my mouth I'm not the kind of person that I just loosely say things because I am angry to hurt the other person because quite frankly when you're in that situation it's usually like a struggle like a power struggle or like an emotional struggle is that kind of thing where you literally just want to hit them where it hurts and to be honest they are literally doing the same thing to you too at that moment both of you are not thinking straight 
the best you can do to actually keep your relationship or your friendship intact because anything you say in the heat of anger cannot be erased i need you to understand that so try because i know it is difficult i've been in different situations with friends where you know we're arguing and arguing and arguing but this was a long time ago i don't think i've ever had any type of argument or disagreements with in my adult years with my friends and it went it got to that point but i've had situations previously where we just went in on each other and when everything dialed down and where our, when our emotions calmed down there was silence like we were just silent the entire time because we both knew we had fucked up and we had said things to each other that nothing could change at that moment or even like the moment after like literally like once you've said out your mouth just know the friendship is gone so if you know that you're feeling those type of emotions and you're at that point where you're about to say something and i know it could be situations where the person could actually be criticizing you for something that they actually do too and you want to come back and remind them that you're criticizing me for this thing but then you did this and that mm -mm. <laughs> just mm -mm. calm it down mm -mm. bring it several notches down because both of you pointing fingers back at each other mm -mm. it's not going to do any good for you i know you would want to call them out just relax and wait till you know everything has dialed down you sit them down and be like listen you are giving me hit for this thing that you also do and you did this this time this time this time and this time and i just wanted to call your attention to you because i don't think it's fair that i get to be blamed for this when you also did this 2002 february 15th that's after valentine's i don't know why i said that the third situation that i feel like requires silence is when you feel like the other person is just trying to get a reaction out of you now this is something that i feel like is priceless not everything requires a reaction not every person requires a response not everyone deserves a response you can be talking to someone and out of nowhere they just try to make something out of nothing the best response is silence listen i don't even need to explain this i'm just going to be honest with you silence they are only testing your energy and quite frankly they're trying to get a piece of your good side to fill up for their bad side that's just it it's not about you it's about them and in as much as you might want to make them feel better or you might want to explain yourself or you might want to give them a response they might have come at you the wrong way it's not necessary it's just not necessary they can fill up themselves from someone else's well but not yours but now my fourth situation that i feel like requires your silence is when you feel like you don't have all the facts together just shut up just 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 close your mouth so let's say you suspect that your boyfriend is cheating on you it could be different for everybody right but let's say you just feel like he's cheating now i need you to understand something thoughts and assumptions are not facts I say this all the time. Assumptions can be formulated through, you know, theories that you have in your head or like situations in front of you, you're just trying to piece things together. Your thoughts can be triggered by different things. Your trauma, your overthinking, your past experience, just basically anything. You could project that on someone while the person could just be chilling. So if you're suspecting, you think, your boyfriend is cheating on you. I don't think it's smart of you to just go straight to him and be like, you're cheating, I know, my instinct says so, I feel so, and so therefore it must be true. Baby, that's doing too much. Listen, <sighs> women, right? Women, we have this thing where we feel like, yeah, a woman's instinct, yes, a woman's instinct is good. And to some extent, it's reliable. But don't forget that being a woman doesn't stop you from being human as well with emotions and our emotions <laughs> here, <laughs> literally here. So we have the tendencies to overthink things. We have the tendencies to just cook up things and just put things together. We have that thing, but honestly, baby, it's not always fact situation that i feel like you should be silent emotional maturity is understanding that that heat of the moment nothing good can come out of you nothing good can come out of that situation and quite frankly at the end of everything you regret it at least i did every single time i displayed 
every single time you have to be the bigger person but honestly not always because whenever i'm talking like this sometimes i'm just like listen we're still humans right not always but you need to always put yourself in that position to be the bigger person in those situations be quiet when you're quiet you control your anger more honestly at this point when i'm angry i'm literally talking to myself in my head and i just i breathe in breathe out and i'm just like calm down baby calm down let's see calm down baby calm down let's see relax breathe relax breathe it'll be over it's not worth it i i talk to myself a lot i've told you guys this thing breathe and pipe it down honestly whenever i'm talking i can't really keep track of anything when you walk into a room and people are gossiping <laughs> Listen, this one is common knowledge, but a lot of people don't know this. You walk into a room and people are talking about other people or they're talking about a situation that does not concern you. Even if it does, keep quiet. Let's say you walk into a room and two of your friends are talking about one of your other friend. Now, you don't necessarily have to defend the other friend, although me, I do believe that you should call their attention to the fact that, oh, if they have a problem with the other friend, you don't think they should be having the conversation with the other friend, friend absent, okay? That's for sure. Me, I would say that. If you have a problem with this girl, like, you just have to tell her. Or if you have a problem with this girl, I feel like if you both have a problem with this girl, she should be here while you're discussing the issue so she can at least defend herself, right? Anything you say in that room, when it gets back, to a miss that has been spoken about, your story will be twisted, and you know that. Human beings don't ever tell a story straight. That's why they say there's always one side, the other person's side, and the truth. So you don't want to be caught up in a situation where you only said little based off of trying to relate to what they were saying about the other person, but then when everything opened up, you were the one that carried all the load because it's like, oh they said you said this and you're like oh no i didn't see because your words can never ever be passed straight it can never be passed straight it's either you're talking to the person directly or you're not speaking at all sixth situation where i feel like it's time for you to be quiet this has to come into this because this is my personality and i've been like this for time i'm that one person that i always pass out you know what i feel i always talk about how i feel i always come to you and say you know how this made me feel how i'm feeling about this how i feel at the moment i'm usually that person that's always talking about how i feel you know what i feel always telling someone if they made if they offended me i'm always coming to you and telling you you offended me you did this you did that oh i don't like this please change it. i don't i always come time after time after time after time and i see how i feel right but the thing is when i have said it one, two, three, four, five, six, sometimes sprinkle a bit of seven and eight, I stop. And I'm going to tell you to do the same. If you keep repeating yourself, telling one person something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, my love, it's time for you to keep quiet and let them do what pleases them. Now, from that point on, you follow them the way they have shown you. So the way they treat you is how you treat them. You just mirror their actions. If they are a certain way to you, you just give them that back. Now, you place people where they have chosen to be. And it's very, very easy to tell apart someone that really wants to be in your life and the other one that is just there to be there. Someone that truly wants to be in your life will make the effort to be in your life will try to do things that pleases you in a way that it's not like oh they are over compromising but it's like oh lucy is this kind of way and i know that if i do this she, she'll get upset you know or this is my friend and i understand my friend doing this certain thing to my friend will make her feel bad do you get what i mean so they are always conscious about how you feel they're always conscious about you know what they are saying to you, how they are saying to you, how they are saying that thing to you, like, you know, how they are treating you, how you're receiving, you know, their treatment. If someone doesn't give you that energy and you've reminded them, I've corrected them, you have corrected them one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, six, sometimes seven and eight, sis, stop. Stop, be quiet, no need to talk about it. 
you can still keep them there in your life but then at least you're putting them in a position where they are supposed to be okay okay my seventh situation where your silence is required especially as a woman is an online feud or an online drama or an online conflict now you don't necessarily have to be an influencer or a public figure to experience this there are so many situations that you know regular people on instagram like they have fights and conflict here and there and honestly you should never ever be that one person to come online and be fighting to another person if someone is trying to start a drama with you just stay quiet do nothing and i know it's easier said than done in this situation because this is your online image that someone is trying to tarnish it's actually not cute and it's irresponsible of you to be going back and forth somebody on the internet do not forget the internet never forgets okay so whatever conflict or argument or drama you have online will remain online it never goes away so when someone is testing your patience online, when someone is calling you out for something, and I know you'd be eager to want to respond and defend yourself, but my dear, it is not necessary. I hope you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already. Links in the description box below and as well as on the screen. Also, my first part of silence video, I'm going to link that in the description box below as well. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.